Outdoor Scrap and Abby, and I have another Dollar Tree haul for all of you today. Now, I went to the Dollar Tree to go pick up something specific for a friend of mine back in Oregon who was getting married. She was looking for more of those doilies with um, three or four different sizes. Let me see here. There's like 32 in a package. Anyway, so I went to my two local Dollar Trees, two of the four that are local for me, and I could not find those doilies at all, nowhere. I, I see them every single time I go into the Dollar Tree when I'm not looking for them, and as soon as I'm looking for them, I can't find them. So anyway, we worked out a solution for that. So while I was there, of course, I just can't walk in and just walk out empty-handed, now can I? So I was so excited when I came across all of these um burlap flowers. I went down the gift, or excuse me, the, like the wedding kind of packaging area just to see if maybe they had those doilies displayed over there on an end cap or something. Otherwise, I would have completely not, I would have completely missed this, and I'm so glad that I went by there. So I grabbed all the purple they have. Shocking, I know. This is so beautiful. If I could explain or describe my most favorite shade, shades of purples, of purple, it would be kind of like this lilac-y, lavender-y kind of color. Now, I like all shades, of course. I'm a purple girl, for sure, for sure. But I have my favorite shades slash tones from the purple. So these are just absolutely gorgeous. You get three of these for a buck, of course. And the other colors they have besides the, this lilac, um, this you know natural burlap, and then the white was a deep red and a deep blue, kind of like the Americana, old-timey, you know, 4th of July kind of colors of red and blue, if that makes any sense. So I didn't grab any of those colors because I don't need them for anything, um, but I grabbed all the one ones that I've been corporate. So I have a really fun project in mind for all of these, which I will share at a later date once I get the project completed, so I can kind of share that with you. And then just to kind of show what the white looks like, yes, I could have made these uh, myself, of course, but you know, I don't have white burlap, and I don't have at this point in time this color burlap, and I mean, I can't make them for three or four dollar for less than that anyway, so just really, really pretty, and then up close, some of these kind of got bent where they were in the, in the bag, but I can get those to flatten out, so, because they were not like this, they just kind of got tossed in, so really, really pretty, and I've had them sitting on my floor in bags for probably, oh, I don't know, not quite a week, but getting close to that. So I probably should have been a little more careful when I was putting them back in the bag because I was showing them to uh, Michelle when I was Skyping with her. Okay, so let's kind of get going here. So these are some of the um, hard candies in blackberry, peach, and strawberry. Yes, I know these aren't crafting items, but I keep these in my craft room, and these are kind of what I um, suck on when I'm crafting and that kind of stuff. So I like these a lot. Though. I like all three flavors, but of course, I think my favorite is probably blackberry because I really like blackberries. So sorry for the crinkle on that. I just grabbed a couple of those. Not very exciting. Just needed some more tape for packaging purposes. Um, they had some new burlap colors, at least I'd never seen these before in my Dollar Trees. I will insert a photo as I'm chatting about this because they had other colors, but the white was really the only one that I knew I would actually use for packaging or what have you, wreath, whatever, whatever. So that was really cool. I like that. Plus I can use my different sprays on this and make it whatever color I want. Um, I had also never seen these particular magnetic clips before. They have them in purples and a bunch of different shades, but of course, I am drawn to the purple. So I have a couple different magnetic boards, yes, that are purple, <laughs> shocking, that I wanted to use these for. So I have to dig that out because a lot of my stuff is still packed when we moved here. So I need to kind of get on that and when I can. Not very exciting. Um, I just bought some more of this because I like to have a pretty good stash because I have this really cool um, purple bedazzled um, tape dispenser that I got. I think it was from Home Depot or I can't remember, not Home Depot, um, Office Max or somewhere in those places. And I just used those in this dispenser here, which worked perfectly for me. So I'll put that over there. Um, I've never purchased any of the cotton twine at the Dollar Tree, and I kind of wanted to play with this and kind of get a feel and see how this works on some different projects and with different medium sprays and paints and stuff like that. So just pretty basic. For that item. Um, I do wear prescription glasses, not all the time. I'm nearsighted. Um, I probably should wear them all the time, but when I'm sitting at my craft desk or when I was still working, I had three monitors on my computer on my desk. I worked in the IT department. When I would be sitting there 
and I put my glasses on, it gave me a headache because I was too close. So when I would get up to walk or look at something across the room, that's when I would put on my um, prescription glasses. But it became quite the pain to constantly put them on, take them off, I'd forget, you know, and it just was kind of a hassle. So I really only wear my prescription glasses when I'm driving at night or when I'm in the movie theater, things of that nature. And I love them, the purple, they're very, very cute but I can't wear them in my craft room, so to speak, because it just I'm too close, but yet I can't really see. Um, my husband said I need to get bifocals, <laughs> but I'm not willing to go down that road yet. Anyway, so I wanted to kind of try these, just the cheapo pair from Dollar Tree, and they had a couple different shades of purple, and I was very excited, so I'm gonna give it a whirl on this um, uh, 1.50 or 5.0, whatever, um, strength, and see if this kind of helps when I'm needing to look at my laptop, which is kind of pushed way over there. So I'll give these a try and see how they work. Um, just grabbed a couple emery boards, one I'm going to keep in my craft room for just different sanding purposes. The other one I'll probably just toss in one of my purses or something. Uh, let's see, let me get these out of the way here. So I love these little um, storage jars. They look like little mason jars. You can kind of, well, they are mason jars, it says, with a silver screw top lid. I have quite a few of these already. Um, I love them, but I liked, I wanted to get more when I found some because these are kind of hard to find at my Dollar Trees anyway. And then just a couple more of the basic salt and pepper shakers. I did an altered set for my friend Michelle Scott. I will put a card up here and link the playlist down below or specifically to this project I did for her so you can kind of take a peek at what I'm going to do with those. Um, or excuse me, these. So I have a couple um, projects I want to work on. And then just another bit of their storage. This is just a three pack. I did not have this shape uh, in their little plastic tote. So I love to organize my craft room with those. They're just, you know, they're inexpensive and they're purple and you just can't go wrong. Put that down on the floor. Okay, so let's kind of go over this. Now this is just one of the composition cheapo notebooks that you can get. They have a, a ton of back to school items and um, different things already out. They're kind of condensing um, some of the summer stuff, at least at my store. They're kind of putting them all in one aisle or two instead of the, you know, whole front section. So I wanted to grab one of these because there is a specific mixed media project I want to do, which is not an original idea. It's actually from Cat Hand, who I really, really like. I stumbled across her um, by Shannon Green, which is another amazing, amazing artist. They do a lot of really cool mixed media techniques and things of that nature. So I kind of wanted to get a little bit bigger book than the one that Cat Hand uses in her particular mixed media series I'm going to be doing. So just want to grab one of those so I have it ready to go when I'm a little bit more organized. These are just some really cute stickers. Um, I just grabbed two packs. I'm, as I mentioned, probably in quite a few of my videos, and I'm working on two Florida flip books. I promise you I am. They're just not a time-sensitive project, so I'm kind of working on them in between design team commitments, commission projects, and just, you know, things that I make for gifts and things of that nature. So that's why these would be really cute, because I'm making two. That way I can kind of not make them matchy-matchy, but kind of have the same items kind of sprinkled throughout the book. So I grabbed a couple of those. These stickers here, I typically don't buy these kind because I know I can make them myself or the colors are not my color palette usually. But I, I was kind of really drawn to these. I'm not sure why. Obviously, there's some purple in here. But they just scream very mixed media-ish to me because of the, you know, the, diff the background, how it's like a little bit of some stamped images and you know, some, um, excuse me, script and stuff. So I kind of want to play with these and um, I kind of have a little video on that I want to do. These were new. I did post these on my Instagram. They're going to be super glary because they're gold. Um, if you don't follow me on Instagram, it's just Scrap and Abby. And I post a lot of things that I either did buy, things I didn't buy, but I wanted you all to know about it. Sneak peeks of behind the scene projects. Just all kinds of crafty stuff sprinkled in with some family fun. And also, and you know, it's kind of updates and whatnot regarding my... Um, trigeminal neuralgia and anesthesia dolorosa. So with all that said, I found these at two different Dollar Trees actually. Um, at one, I found both of these different items in the um, craft area next to the floral foam and things like that. And the other ones, I found just these on one of those strips they put the washi tape on up by the register. So I grabbed quite a few as you can see. They only had these two, or the, excuse me, this one design here or one you know, set of words, I should say, or letter, you know, so I'll kind of scroll like this, or move it along, hopefully I'm not blinding you, so really, really awesome, these are great to use in your planning, junk journaling, cards, tags, mixed media pieces, um, 
and even my traveler's notebook that I use for everything related to my facial pains and all of that. So I grabbed quite a few so I could have some. And of course, I will be sharing some of these as well. So these are, oh, anytime when you're on here, there's 134 sentiment stickers. And I love these types of things. I probably have a stack like that thick of different ones. I just love them. Different, you know, colors and things like that. So these are some sentiment stickers. You get 26 in a pack. These are great for scrapbooking, all of the different things that I've already mentioned. You could put them on posters, whatever, whatever. So I thought these were really cool. So I wanted to grab some of these and use them in my different crafting. And then next I have these. I thought I've hauled these before, but I'm not sure if I did. I bought these strictly to use for packaging. So of course I love the purple butterfly and then the purple flowers and um, the um, yeah, the different, but I thought there was something else. I thought there was a dragonfly, but there's not. Just some little butterflies. Sorry for that glare there. So I'm going to use these for packaging, I like on the outside of the box or something, because I like to kind of make the boxes look cute. Um, that's not my style for inside. I, I'm completely shabby cheeky inside. I just kind of like to have some fun stickers like that for the outside. So last but not least, um, I love creative packaging, whether I do it and give it to somebody, whether I receive it. Um, it could be something as simple as brown packaging with string on it and I'm all over it. I just love, love, love the details of creative packaging. So I kind of wanted to pick up some of these items to use in my creative packaging um, stash, so to speak. So these are just the 25 loot bags um, that you can get in the party section. They're meant for like kids parties or anything really. And this has a really pretty kind of a pink scroll on there. Really cute and you get 25. And then I got it in this really um, cool kind of almost plummy kind of light color. We can see that with a really pretty pattern. The pattern's the same. And then I found it in this lilac color. And I grabbed all of the ones that they had with this um, pattern. The other ones they had were stars, and that's just not my style. So I didn't grab those. <clears throat> I would use them if that's all they if they didn't have these, of course, because I'm all about purple, but you know, I wanted to make sure I was actually grabbing patterns I would really use. So I grabbed quite a stack of those to kind of backfill my stash. And then um, in the pink, they also had these with the stars as well. So that is everything for my Dollar Tree haul as of late. Um, please let me know, comment below, please let me know if any of you have found any of the items that I have shared with you in this video, how you're using them, just things like that, because I love to um, read what other crafty um, people like to do as well. So I will see you in my next video. Happy scrapping, happy planning, and happy crafting, and I'll see you next time. Bye!